Hi you guys, it's Debbie from My Vagabond Style and I'm back today with part six of the fodder. So it's been a few weeks since I put one of the fodder videos out. I've got quite a few for you today. I've got some flowers, I've got some mushroom, and I even have some fish. So I'm just trying to give you a little something different because we've done so many flowers. I will start out with the flower. There's this one and I love this one. I think it's really cool. You can, um, it looks great big or small. So this one's super easy. I'm just jumping right in, you guys. We're not messing around today. <laughs> so you, however big you make the circle is really going to determine how big the flower is, of course. So you don't really, you know, if you're going to make a big one, great. If not, then just try to keep that a little bit smaller circle. And then it's just four petals all the way around. That one is wonky. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just keep going. Even if you think you goofed up, just keep going, you guys. All right. So those I did with the Sharpie fine tip marker. Everything, um, these pins are all linked below along with some of my favorite craft supplies. That is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you use it, it does support the channel. Okay. So these you just start from... Uh, you know, go straight in. And then I just slightly tipped them, angled them. It's not a big angle. So kind of straight up and down and then a slight tip. It never fails. Like when I go to do these for you guys, I'm trying to hold my hand a little bit different so that you can see it. And so I feel like that throws my little petals off, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. And then just move the page how you need to, to get the right angle. And then again, the magic happens when you cut them out. So you can make a little circle here if you wanted. I did on these. A few of the ones I did earlier, I didn't make that big circle in the middle. So it looks great either way. Experiment and see what you like. And then I'm just going to cut this kind of out of the way here so that I can show you what I'm cutting here. And then I just leave the little edge. Um, the, I do like an edge on it with you know, not going right against the black line. That way you just get a little more color. And then when you're cutting, make sure, you know, you don't have to buy these cutter bees, but buy yourself a good small pair of scissors if you're going to be doing much fussy cutting. It makes a difference. And then learn to tilt the paper, not your hand. So as you can see, I'm just moving the paper around. And yeah, they just come out. They're so cute. Okay, so that's that's number one. And take screenshots of these, you guys. Freeze the frame and take a screenshot. That way you'll have, you know, some reference when you go to do it. Okay, so the next one, let's do a mushroom. So I'm going to do, what mushroom should I do first? Let's do this cutie pie right here. And it doesn't really matter what you use, but I'm going to use like this bread for the, you know, maybe the top of the mushroom. And when I did this one, here's a little tip for when you do these. When I did this, I went all the way around because if you stop and try to do this half circle right here, which I have done, even if you're changing to a or keeping it at the same pen, you know, this was a fine tip there. But when I did a different one, um, I'll show you, I had stopped and went right around like this and it it's not very good. So it just makes it a lot easier if you go ahead and just make the circle how you want it. 
okay? And then for the bottom, I just did, see how it's kind of um, a little bit wider at the bottom? A little bit wider at the bottom kind of looks good. And then I switched to a smaller pin to make that circle, which you, you can do a bigger one. I just kind of liked the way this turned out like this. So I'm going to do it this way again. And then you'll just take this and make your lines. And I, I also went like right from here because it's not, I'm not going right from here to here. I'm going from here to here. You see what I'm saying? It just makes it a little easier to find your way if you do the one in the middle and then do the sides. It kind of felt like it was a little easier that way. And then as far as like the little circles, you can make them wherever you want. This is what I did is I just went and made them and then came back and filled them in with the bigger pin. Just like that. Now it's kind of fun to look through. I love the cooking magazines for all of this. This is That's my favorite thing is to use the cooking magazines. But it's fun to look at the food just a little bit differently when you're doing it and the backgrounds. You're not looking at it as food anymore. Make that a little bigger. And we could even do one right here. And then we'll cut that out. These are my um, Sweet William magazines, which are out of print anymore. They are out of circulation. They don't make Sweet William, is it Sweet William? Sweet Paul, <laughs> Sweet Paul magazines. Yeah, it's, they don't make those anymore. So if you find them, you'll find them maybe on eBay if you like them or, um, yeah, I'm not sure where else. <laughs> All right, so there's the first one. Isn't that cute? I love those. Okay, so there's one mushroom and one flower so far. All right, let's do another flower. Here's the next one. This one's really easy. It's just pretty much a shape like this. And then you go back and you make three uh, thin petals on the inside and I touch the top. Just like that. And then for the, it's just one straight like my pen I could probably use a new sharpie okay and then um, for this you can do like I've got yeah this one is running out and then I took my small sharpie pen and just did a few little or little lines here in the middle. And one on the outside there, one there. And that's it. You could make them, I have them kind of short. You could make them a little longer. I think it might look a little better. I'll cut this one. It's just easier for me if I 
cut it out of the big paper so that I can show you. I don't always do that when it's just me doing it without trying to show you guys. And you can get closer than what I'm doing if you if you like, or um, just depends on how much uh, edge you like. But this is the color of the whole flower, so I feel like that extra edge just adds something. Okay, so we're done with those. But next, let's see. You guys want to do a fish? <laughs> the fish turned out cute. So they're not hard to do. This was my pattern. They're not hard to do, but um, if you feel like you're, it's the fish are hard, what I would do is make one. You can fold this in half and just make the one side of the fish so they're the same. And then you'll have your pattern if you want a pattern. Otherwise, let me just show you what I did. So I just drew like this and then I came up, made the tail, and then I made this, <laughs> let's see, let me go right from here, back up to this way. I'm going to draw from here, I think this way, and then this way. Yeah, see that one's not very good. Let's not use that one. <laughs> okay. Let me show you this one. Okay, this, this is what you do. I even put a fin on this one. I'll go back over this outside line, and you could even do it with a thinner pin the first time if you want. Okay. I know it looks horrible. It will get better. Okay, and then from here, I just did this. And then I did three um, kind of oblong things here. And then you can just, oops, I drew on myself. <laughs> um, for this part here, you can just draw a little, little lines. And then I just did like three little things in the middle here. And then a big eye. make a mouth on him if you want. This this guy does not have a mouth. Some of mine had mouths, some of them don't. It'll look better. Hang on. Again, just moving the paper. This paper that, that's coming out of the Sweet Paul magazine is kind of a matte finish, which is really awesome. And quite a few magazines now have the matte finish. You just have to look for them. Okay, so there's one. Here's the other one that I had done. I think you can see them kind of good on the black. His face is really dark, but we'll, we'll do a little 
we'll do like a little journaling card or, uh, at the end of this so you can see how, how we can use them. Okay, so the next one we'll do is, let's do another flower. Here's this one. Okay, so this one is just, it's pretty easy. It's just a circle. And then we, I just did the, you can do a long stem or a short stem, whatever you want. I'm going to use my Posca pen on this. The Posca pen just covers a lot better. You do want to make sure these dry before you um, continue on with another color or another pen. Otherwise, you're just kind of dragging it around. And then this one had like a little, I kind of went around it. outside of the lines. And then I did turn it sideways here. If you can see me okay. This one just kind of went out and then I just did a bunch of little petals going up and down and then a little one going out again. This one I went ahead and used the gel pin jelly roll i'm not sure that this is really dry yet i'm doing what i told you not to do and then i just did some dots So there's been a lot of people doing the fodder. I'm really um, excited to get, I've gotten a few emails. Let me pull up this one email that I got. Yes, that's cute. Okay, hang on just a second. Let me pull up this email. Okay, so I got an email from Melody. Um, her and her, I think it's her granddaughter. Yeah, her and her granddaughter, 13 years old, They've been making the, the um, fodder together, and she is so cute. Her granddaughter calls like their crafty things they do, projects and shenanigans. I just loved that. Um, anyway, um, I think her name is Calista, is the granddaughter's name. And let me show you what they were doing. It's so good. Look how cute that is, you guys. Is that not adorable? She was making the birds like we did... Um, was last week was the birds last week last um part part five yeah i was just like oh my gosh that is adorable so thank you so much for sending in the pictures i really appreciate it okay and also peggy one of my viewers peggy h she sent in some of the ones that she had been doing and um look at this you guys not good Oops. I hope you can see it okay. Anyways, I just was so thrilled when I get pictures like that. Oh, here's some more. But thank you, Peggy. I appreciate you uh, sending those in. I didn't miss anybody. Anyway, so fun to see what you guys are doing. Okay, so let's see. We did a fish. We did three flowers, one mushroom. Let's do another mushroom. We can do it here. Maybe we'll make the top this part here. Or maybe we'll make the top right here with the blue. I like this one a lot. Um, I did it with the darker, st <clears throat> excuse me, darker stem, but you don't have to have a dark stem if you don't want one. You could just make it of the lighter color. But if you do make it the lighter color, you're going to have to stop right here and right here. And then because you don't want your um, 
line to go through that. I'm going to start right about where I want the stem to come out and go up and around, come back down. Okay, and then here is where we're going to go around in that circle. Circle back around here. So now we're going to put the top of that mushroom right there. Looks a little weird. I'm going to take my smaller pin. And then there's, again, I'm not going right directly from here. I'm going right here. Okay, and then um, if you want to make some dots on it, you can make some dots on it. I get my white pen. Let's cut this one out. All right, so there's that mushroom. This one was just the pattern. I didn't have to make any dark marks in it or light marks in it for the mushroom because the pattern already had that in there. So that's what I mean about kind of looking at uh, whatever magazine you have and if you do find something like that you can make that your you know position whatever it is you're making so that you get the pattern you want okay so let's see what else are we going to do here a couple mushrooms a couple flowers we could do another fish here's this little cutie pie right here Let's see, where do we want to do him? Do him right here. And we'll make this guy go in the other way. So this one, we could make his face start right about there. And then it was just a little... See, they come out different every time. They don't, they don't necessarily come out the same unless you are going to uh, make a pattern of it. Okay, now this little guy, he was pretty easy, just kind of went right to where the tail is. And then the tail I just did. Little marks going one way and then the other way. And then his eye, just a big eye. And you can make a mouth if you want or not. Oh, I forgot to make the little dots or little dashes on him. I'll add that here in just a second. And you can make a fin on him too if you wanted a fin.
I think it just adds so much when you put the little white marks on him. Okay, so there's those two. All right, let's do another mushroom. I'm stuck my fingers in that white. <laughs> okay, uh, right here, this guy. You can make a blue mushroom. Let's make a blue mushroom. I might make it so that the top part, let's make it so that the top part is blue and the bottom part is darker. Something like that. Okay, so this one, very simple. And then the rest of it I drew with a small, small pen. So this one, I just went down. Well, we kind of got a blue stem. <laughs> And then that just has a bunch of little hash marks on it. And then I just drew like a few little bit, little marks here, there. And then I even made just a few little grassy marks on the bottom. Let's see how this one looks with the blue stem. If you, if you don't like the small stem, make a bigger one. Okay. Let me move this out of the way so you can see them better. There we go. I'm just going to put some of these out so you can see kind of the ones we've done. That one you can't see. Loving those mushrooms. This one we'll put over here. Really cute. Like this would be a good screenshot, you guys. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. So some of the fodder I've done bigger, but like this little tiny one is really good to put with the fish because it looks like seaweed. So um, it was just... Well, I'll show you. So it was just kind of, I just did a little wandering line and then took the one part and made a circle and then just do it several times and they don't have to match like exactly on from one side to another this one can be higher or lower just leave yourself enough room to get your scissors in here to cut and if you think you're going to need it even smaller do it a little smaller for your whatever you're working on So you don't have to wait. Let me cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's that one. And you see what I mean by they look good with the fish. You know, like definitely looks like seaweed or something. 
really cute. Okay, let's see. Is there any other ones we want to do today? I, I'm not going to show you this one. I, I think you can see how I did it. It's um, the only thing different is how I uh, drew its lines. So I just did straight lines. Take a screenshot. I did straight lines and then a squiggle and then made those dots in between. And that's just another idea for how to decorate your fish. And then here was some more uh, seaweed that I did. Or you could, you know, make it look like just greens if you did it uh, with just green. All right, so let's see. I have one more mushroom I can show you guys. It's turned into the mushroom show, I think. There's this one right here. So let's get something that we want to use for the mushroom. Oh, why not? We'll just use this right here. It'd be a pretty mushroom. Okay, so this one, I ended up doing the top part first. I just did the however big I wanted it. And then here's the top. I just kind of, just like that. And then I took this right here and just did a swoop down here, right here. And then you can make the mushroom bottom however you want to make the mushroom bottom. And then this, these, I try not to make them super straight. I tried to get a little bit of jiggle in the line. And then started kind of angling these this way. And then this top part just had little specks here and there. And then let me just cut this out. Okay, so there we go. There's our other mushroom. All right, so I wanted to kind of do something with the fodder so that we could have a little project with it. Um, so this was just a, a vintage index card that I had and I just drew a bunch of scrap paper. This was actually um, scraps from a jelly print runoff um, that I had and then this was just some other scraps that I had. So I wanted to show you that this could look like the sea <laughs> if we wanted it to. So we could use like the one we did that one today, and then maybe another one. Um, I've got these, these were the other two fish. Could make them, maybe we'll make one go back the other way, like that. And then put maybe a little bit of, well, let me get this down. We'll put a little bit of seaweed in there. I think I'm going to use a little bit of this art glitter glue just because it's sticking onto acrylic paint. Although I might want to stick something behind it. I had this too. This is fun. It's just lines with little bubbles on top. We could put that in the background. I'm going to move him down just a hair. Like that would be cute. And then we could just put like a little bit of seaweed there in front.
And that's how you can use your plotter. All right, you guys. Um, well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's fodder. And um, I will catch you next time. Bye, you guys.